everybody, how's it going? I've got another brand new music video reaction slash review coming at you today. And this one is for Let's Not Fall In Love by Big Bang. And this is the fourth installment of their rather elaborate release schedule. And like I've said before, I think it was a really cool idea. It gives fans more content, more music videos per album. So let's jump right in and check this out. We've got two songs to cover from them today. Here we go. That's really not where I expected this song to go. The singing in this is really excellent so far. It's really cool starting off at the top. Really interesting arrangement too. It kind of alternates between like an 80s ballad, like a corny 80s TV show theme song, a little bit. And it's got like some really modern elements in it too, so. I like it though, this is cool, it's interesting, it's creative. The backing track's a little simple, uh, the beat's kind of simple, but it's a good effect because it really showcases the vocals. There's nothing in the way of them. I was wondering if he could get through this song without doing his usual rap thing. I guess not. It was kind of abrupt. Odd uh, transition. This is really cool. Contrasting their voices. They do have a really, like, diverse set of vocal tones within Big Bang. This song is doing a really good job, of, like, showing that off. Is that it? I'm not sure because of that awkward uh, pause and then restart before. And it looks like that actually is the end. So although this isn't the most exciting or intense song in the world, I actually really enjoyed it. And I think they did a lot of really cool and interesting stuff with it. The production was really good. The songwriting and the arrangement was really interesting. And it had a lot of like musical dynamics, you know, it bounced around from being really, really relaxed to being kind of like a happy-go-lucky 80s song and then kind of back to like a really serious ballad. So anyway, let's jump back in this one, listen to it again, analyze it, and I'll try to point out everything I noticed. Here we go. I really like the sort of tonal colors that the sounds behind his voice are painting. Um, it's just a really nice sound. Um, cool delay effects going on, kind of bouncing all over the place, creating some ambience. 
And I really like that they let Top start out the song and sing instead of rap. Because he does have a really cool low voice. Um, and as you can tell here, um, his voice is contrasting hugely with the other members um, who have a lot higher pitched voices. So It's kind of a cool impact to like pass the singing parts along uh, from Top to Taeyang to Taesung. Just flowed really well for me. So those little like weird synthesizers going on in the background. And then just like back to this sort of really dreamy, relaxed kind of ballad sound. Interesting arrangement. I do like it though. Um, normally, songs that are kind of sleepy and less intense like this, I'm not as into. But this song is just really well done, so even somebody like me who doesn't usually like this type of thing uh, can enjoy it. One thing that kind of struck me with this, the beat is so simple. It's very simplistic, uh, but it's effective. For the style of song, it really works, and again, it stays out of the way of the vocals. Um, the entire backing track does that, but especially the rhythmic parts, the beat, um, it just kind of, it's just there, you know, it's not drawing attention to itself, and that really suits the style. And then back to using the acoustic guitar kind of as the rhythmic part, or the beat. It's just a really cool arrangement. The only thing I don't like is coming up here. This transition was very strange. I like how they got into it with that vocal delay, but I wish they would have done some sort of pickup back into that, like a vocal pickup or even a drum fill. It's just kind of abrupt and strange. Um, but everything else is really cool with how they did that. And then here again, you hear that like vocal contrast. The really low voice, the higher pitch voices, and then someone's doing like ad-libs in the falsetto. Just a really nice vocal like ensemble sound. So... Anyway, that's the end of the song, that's the end of the music video. I did really enjoy this one, I think it's a nice way to kind of end their giant elaborate promotional schedule that spanned a couple months. So yeah, I'm going to head over and check out the GD and Top track, so that'll be uploaded after this one. I hope you guys check that out as well, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this reaction slash review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you could share this video all over the place, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, forums, all that stuff really helps us out, and I'll see you next time.